Okay, so now that this is uploaded, let's go back to github.com. We're going to go into the programs uh, directory, go into global surround sound, and we should now see the images folder, which is uploaded. Um, and if we click on the image that we uploaded, um, we might see it in here sometimes, um, but the best is to then click on the, there it is. Um, but if you click on the raw tab, it'll actually give you um, the image just raw inside the browser. And so you can then um, grab this, um, copy the URL here, and then back in your scenario.md file, um, wherever there's an image, you can paste in, um, uh, let's call this test image, you can paste in the uh, a URL that should look something like raw.github.com slash your username and then a whole bunch of other things slash images slash uh, the name of the image. Um, so let's then save that. We'll go back to our GitHub client and again it will notice that we made that change. So now we're going to say um, uh, using the uploaded test image, commit that and sync it. And you can see the progress in the top right again. My internet, of course, today that I'm recording is going incredibly slowly. All right, so now that we're done, we can go back to github.com. I'm just going to go and click back a few times. Actually, go back here to um, site-to-site.github.io. Go into programs, into global surround sound into scenario.md and now we should see that image. So this is one way to uh, uh, put images up um, using GitHub. Um, you could also use Dropbox or if you have your own um, uh, FTP, uh, if you, have, you want to FTP into your own server or so on. Um, basically the idea is to get images online um, but we much prefer that you put uh, your images um, uh, in particular, definitely you have to put your um, collage and your diagram that you've created for this um, assignment on GitHub and link it here, um, so that as it changes over time, you can log the changes with that as well. Thanks.